Good evening, this is Luke Thomas at quakeprediction.com here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.58 in the evening on Monday, February 22nd, 2021. And we're going to go and check what has happened in the last uh, 24 hours. And over to this right here. The largest earthquake during the last 24 hours was a 5.8 in northeast Indonesia. And over in California, we had a 3.1 right here northeast of Mammoth Lakes. And uh, let's get to uh, what happened around the world here. We had a 4.3 earthquake in uh, Milan, Italy. And if you remember that that risk was at 100% yesterday, well, just east of Milan, about, I think it was about 60 to 70 miles east of Milan, we had a 4.3. And I'll show that to you in just a second here. And there it is. You can see Milan is right here, and this is where the 4.3 earthquake hit. And here's Bologna, it hit north of that, and Zagreb, it hit west of that. And if you look at our forecast, uh, Zagreb, Croatia, Milan, and Bologna, Italy were all in the top 198, 97% risk. Whenever it gets up that high, you know something's going to happen. And we had a 4.3 earthquake up there in northern Italy. Right there, 4.3. And the other significant one was a 5.2 when we talked about this yesterday in our video. The risk was at 93%. And if you look at the world forecast here and zoom in on, and we had mentioned Southern Mexico and Western Guatemala. And there it is, Southern Mexico and Western Guatemala, a 5.2 right there. And we had this 3.1 that hit in California here, Northeast of Mammoth Lakes. And Mammoth Lakes was at 100% risk. And a 3.8 in San Francisco, which was at 35%. And you'll see the Salinas, which is where it's closest to, was at 40%. So um, we're going to look at the uh, earthquake forecast now for the next 24 hours. Eureka remains very high, and I still think we get a 5.5 to 6.0 in the northwest portion of California during the next uh, 24 hours. Also, that risk remains very high in Mammoth Lakes and Portland. So either in the northwest part of California or in east central California, a 5.5 to 6.0 is uh, possible. Ridgecrest remains high at 90 and then extends down to Big Bear City, Ontario, and all the way down to the Salton Sea, 65%. So something significant during the next 24 hours in northwest California is likely or in east central California. And in the world forecast, you noticed uh, Italy and uh, Italy, Milano and Bologna, the risk has dropped 76 and so on. What's high right now is Northern Sumatra. You have uh, Eastern Sumatra, which is uh, Timor Leste, Leste, East Timor. And you have Central, uh, Central, uh, what I'm talking about is Indonesia. Eastern Indonesian is East Timor. And then you have Jakarta, Indonesia, which is right here. Jakarta, that's Central Indonesia. And then Northwest Indonesia is North Sumatra is Medan, M-E-D-A-N. That's in North Sumatra. And we could get a 5.5 to 6.5 during the next uh, 24 hours in Northern Sumatra. Mexico remains very high at 95%, even with that uh, 5.2 they had down there. Risk remains high in Mexico. So we could get a 5.5 to 6.0 in far southern Mexico near Guatemala uh, during the next 24 hours. And Cyprus, south of um, Turkey, uh, remains high at 91%. Zagreb remains high at 83% as well. So looking for a strong earthquake, 5.5 to 6.0 in uh, northern Sumatra. 5.5 to 6.0 is possible in southern Mexico and western Guatemala. And near Cyprus, a 5.5 to 6 is possible uh, in southern, either in southern Turkey, uh, southwest Turkey, or south, south central Turkey, 
or near Cyprus right there. Risk at 91%. So let's look at the Japan earthquake forecast. And risk remains high in Kyoto, Osaka. We got another 3.4, I believe, in uh, the area around uh, Osaka. I think it was in Wakayama. And risk continues to rise. It's at 97, 97, 98. And when, when, when you see 100 here, it just it means maximum risk compared to these other cities. It, it doesn't mean it's going to, it's guaranteed to happen. It's just, it's maxing out compared to these other cities. So uh, Kyoto is very high. Totori, which is uh, in southwest Japan. Kyoto is just north of Osaka. So, and these are all southwest of Tokyo. So in that area, Kyoto, Totori, Hiroshima, Osaka, uh, a 5.0 to 5.5 is likely during the next 24 hours. Once again, we'll look at the uh, Los Angeles and the data during the next uh, 48 hours to 72 hours, during the next 72 hours, looking for a strong earthquake in California. It's, it's uh, uh, very difficult to say exactly where, but it looks like from the data that Eureka or Mammoth Lakes. So a 5.5 to 6.0 is possible in the next 24 hours in Northwest California, in the Eureka to Portland, Oregon area, or in East Central California near Mammoth Lakes. And the Ridgecrest is also high at 90%, so it could hit in that area as well. Thanks again for stopping by today. And uh, thanks for stopping by quakeprediction.com. And um, once again, Northwest California near Eureka or East Central California near Mammoth Lakes. We can get a strong earthquake during the next 24 hours. Also over in Medan and Northern Sumatra, a uh, strong earthquake is possible there. And in Southern Mexico, 5.5 to 6.0 is possible there. And um, in Japan, near Kyoto and Osaka, Earthquake is, uh, risk is very high there with a 5.5 is possible in that area. Thanks again for uh, following us here at quakeprediction.com. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I really appreciate that if you do. Thanks for supporting us. Uh, 15 years of research here now, quakeprediction.com and uh, over 147,000 followers. Thank you so much for your help and uh, support. And uh, we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is... Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, February 23rd. We'll talk to you tomorrow evening at about the same time, about uh, right around 9.30, 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, California. All right, thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.